welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgina. I am the Honest Vocal Coach. Right, today we are continuing with Eurovision. I'm nearly there. I haven't got that many reactions left before I then take a look at the revamps. So if you want to get involved, do let me know what you think of the changes, whether you think they're allowed to make the changes, because this is one of the things that gets me every year. Why is it you put a song out? This is my song for Eurovision. This is my entry. And now I'm allowed to mess about with it and change it. And in some cases, change the song altogether. How is that a thing? It, it, it's just, I don't understand. I don't understand why that's allowed. Anyway, today I'm looking at Firefighter, which is George's entry for this year. It's Nutze uh, Buzeladze. Let's dive in. I see it in the air. I see it. Oh, what an opening! The Asida, uh, Asida. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that was awful, but you totally get the idea. So she's going from head voice to a little bit more closed of a belt, and then she is flipping out of it again. It's like an intentional break. It's very cool. She's on a spinny thing. And you know what? Is Georgia actually going to have a good song this year? Because for me, Georgia never have a good song, ever. Sorry, Georgia. But you just don't. It's always one of the worst down the bottom of the list. But this might be in with a chance. Like a firefighter, pull out the fire, pull out the Ooh, like a firefighter. Very nice. This is very intense, the beat. A uh, nice, powerful vocal. Got black going off. Looks like it's some kind of studio. Um, but I'm quite taken with this so far. This nice agility, love. Really good choreography as well. Good quality of dancers. This, I'm quite taken with this. Oh, I missed a bit of the lyrics then. I will... Something or other, I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah, I guess we're just talking about fighting fire right now. Building up a, a kingdom. Um, let's try and get into it a bit more. I'm rising from the ashes like a phoenix, yeah. Okay, so you're rising from the ashes... Uh, it's being powerful in yourself. I like the staging now. Looks like it's a beach. Some kind of sandy sort of look. Again, another leather outfit. She's a natural belter, isn't she? The way that she's uh, producing those vowel sounds, you can tell that she's pretty experienced. Oh, of course, we've got a fire siren. Absolutely, we have. Fire. Seen this kind of choreography before, but does look really effective. So let's let, well, let them have it. But we've all seen that before many, many times, but kind of works, doesn't it? Why is it I compare everything to slow-mo now? Why? <laughs> I, I, I just think slow-mo is probably one of the best in terms of choreography and sort of fire and drama that I've seen in recent years. And now I'm comparing everything to that. An element of Shakira in the way she looks now. She's in a somewhere with fire all around her. Looks really good though. How many outfits? How many outfits? I know I'm stopping and starting, but as you know, we have this issue with copyright and them. If I play too much of the video, it gets blocked. So it's a bit of a pain. So unfortunately, I do have to make the snippets, the, the clips short. Um, but yeah, how many outfits? We're on like outfit number three or four by now. There must be some kind of costume section for this, like a whole wardrobe department. So why do we do this? We meant to rise and Not really getting the whole story of this song. It feels more generic and open for me in that it's kind of about a relationship. It's kind of about being strong. It's rising from the ashes. 
there's a kind of bits of all sorts going on at the minute so i think probably if i read the lyrics that might help me get into what her story is about or maybe they're doing it specifically to keep it open so you can take from it what you want <laughs> Wow, that's one of my favourite riffs in the competition. Reminds me of Perry's voice from Little Mix. That was so good. I'm looking forward to hearing that live. I, air, I, air. I bet that's freezing. <laughs> she does look like she's like, I'm trying to sing, but this is really hard with all the water coming down. I just, oh my God, I'm trying. Ah, bless her. I'd love to ask her afterwards. How did you manage? How did you get through that with the rain at the same time trying to be able to lip sync? And was it cold? Was it? Or did they like turn it up a bit? But I bet it were cold. You know there, you know She's got an incredible voice. Oh, it's the kind of voice I really like. I am going to make a video about my favourite vocalist this year. And I think this is going in the list. This is surprisingly good. Not that Georgia is a total disaster every year, but I just, you know, if I, if I go back through the last five years, none of Georgia's songs have kind of been anywhere in the listing. Tell me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I will hold my hands up and say I do apologise. But for me, Georgia's entries have just not been that strong. <laughs> Blimey, she's good. Another costume change. So we've got a red dress on now with a gold kind of, what would you call it? Would you call it a sort of basque as such? Or a, I guess so. Kind of looks like armour. <laughs> that high bell. Oh my God, she's giving vocals. Blimey, she's powerful, isn't she? What a voice. She's got such control over her belt and those high notes. So good. So good. One of my favourite vocalists in the competition right now. Just brilliant. Now, the song's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's my favourite, but it's very powerful, very passionate. It seems to have more of an open kind of meaning so you can get from it what you want. More costumes than anybody needs, really. <laughs> That's a lot of costume changes. But it did make for a really effective video. So what do you think of Georgia this year? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe or you're just going to miss my new videos. Bye, loves. Mm -hmm.